cat and mouse in partnership a cat had made the acquaintance of a mouse and the cat convinced the mouse that he really likes her company and friendship and finally they decided to live in a house the cat told the mouse we must make preparation for the winter they bought a pot of fat they decided to store it beneath the altar of a church and decided to touch only in winter but within a few days the cat took a great longing to eat the fat the cat told the mouse that he wants to attend his cousin son's naming ceremony the mouse agreed and let the cat attend the naming ceremony all this however was untrue the cat had no any such cousin and no one invited him for any ceremony he went straight to the church crept up to the pot of fat and licked off the top of the fat then he went for a stroll on the roof of the town then he stretched out in the sun and he reached home only in the evening well here you are again said the mouse What name did they give the child? asked the mouse. Top off, said the cat quite coolly. Top off, cried the mouse. That's a very odd and uncommon name. What does that matter? said the cat. In a few days, the cat wanted to eat some more fat. He told the mouse, "They asked me to attend their one more child's naming ceremony." The good mouse consented. The cat again reached the altar and told himself while licking the fat, "Nothing tastes as good as that which one eats by oneself." He was quite satisfied with his day's work. When he arrived home, the mouse asked, "What name was this child christened with?" "Half gone," the cat replied. "Half gone. I have never heard that name in all my life." After some days, the cat again wanted to eat the remaining yummy fat. told the mouse the cousin again invited me for their third child's naming ceremony so i have to go the mouse agreed this time the cat went to the church and finished the remaining fat when he came back home the mouse asked what was the name of the child all gone the cat replied All gone cried the mouse that's the most worrisome name of all from this time forth no one invited the cat for any ceremony but when winter had come there was no longer anything to be found outside the mouse thought of this charred food and said Come cat we can go to the altar and get our pot of fat it will taste good now They reached the church the pot of fat was still in its place but it was empty Alas said the mouse Now I see what has happened now it comes to light you are a true friend You ate everything when you were attending the naming ceremony. First top off, then half done, then Be quiet, cried the cat. One more word, I will eat you too. All corn was already on the poor mouse lips. She had scarcely spoken it before the cat sprang on her. 
seized her and swallowed her down. You see, that's the way of the world. Moral of the story, we should be careful while choosing our friends. We sometimes even lose our life if we are in partnership with the wrong people. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.